From technology to medicine to agriculture, Israel leads the world in advances that make the world a better place. Here's a look at just a few breakthrough innovations that change the world. From a device called the Nano Artificial Nose, which sniffs out cancer, to technology that gives sight to the blind and makes the lame walk again, Israel leads the world in medical innovation. Every day, millions around the world use some kind of medical treatment that came from Israel. Israeli entrepreneurs and scientists are also pioneers in agriculture and invented techniques that allowed the tiny nation to turn rocky desert landscapes into lush orchards. In his new book, Thou Shalt Innovate, How Israeli Ingenuity Repairs the World, Author Avi Jorish profiles wondrous innovations that are changing the lives of billions of people around the globe and explores why Israeli innovators of all faiths feel compelled to make the world better. Here's CBN's Mark Martin with author Avi Jorish. Well, what is it about the Israeli people that makes them such innovators and inventors? Well, Israel has wonderful universities. It has a very diverse set of population. They have Muslims, Christians, Jews, Arabs, a whole host. They have wonderful government programs and a very, very smart, innovative military. But ultimately, it is the culture of the prophetic tradition that really drives, that sparks Israeli innovation. You can't repeat day after day for 3,000 years, make the world a better place, cure the sick, help those in need, help those that are hungry, without that having a deep impact on the cultural DNA of your people. And ultimately, that is what's driving Israeli ingenuity to repair the world. Israeli tech today is influencing the lives of billions of people, both here in the United States and around the world when it comes to medicine, technology, science, agriculture, and water. That's wonderful. Where does the concept of repairing the world come from? And why do Israelis want to export their ideas to the rest of the world, Avi? So first you have the prophet Isaiah, of course, which calls upon us to be a light onto the nations. And for the last 1,500 years, at least three times a day, religious Jews have been praying the, the prayer Elenu, which calls upon us all to repair the world. No less than 10 times in the Mishnah, the classic body of rabbinic teachings, do we hear the concept of repairing the world. When I bless my children on Saturday night, we have a very special blessing called Labdil ben Kodesh Lechol, separating the mundane from the holy. And when you try to separate the mundane from the holy, this is the very heart and soul of the state of Israel. Two th 70 years ago this week, Ben-Gurion stood at the lectern and declared the existence of the state of Israel, and he said two things. One, Jews are officially welcome to come home after 2,000 years in the diaspora. But secondly, he said, I quote, Israel has the great privilege and the obligation to tackle some of the gravest challenges of the 20th century, and we are seeing Israel do that today. It is repairing the world, it is leveraging its technology for the benefit of humanity and making the world a better place. Well, let's talk about some of the specific ingenious products that Israelis have come up with. First of all, United Hetzalah, which means United Rescue, and it saves the lives of millions of people annually. Tell us about that. So what would you do right now if I had a heart attack here in your studio? We call 911. We call 911, and on average, 20 minutes later, an ambulance will arrive to save my life. But ultimately, that is too long. So a man in Israel named Eli Beer started United Hetzalah, and he did three things. One, he trained an army of emergency responders, 5,000 in all. Secondly, he gave each and every one of them an application on their smartphone, like Uber, calling the five nearest individuals to save a life. And lastly, gave many of them a scooter called an AmbuCycle, which is a hybrid between an ambulance and a motorcycle, a little scooter with a box in the back with medical supplies. The national average to get an emergency responder anywhere in Israel is three minutes. In major metropolitan areas, 90 seconds. And so while it still takes 20 minutes for an ambulance to arrive, 90 seconds later, a medical practitioner will be at my door to save a life. And that is saving the lives of millions of Israelis. And that technology is used around the world today, including right here in Jersey City. But there's no reason why this cheap and scalable technology shouldn't be used in every city in the United States. New York, Chicago, LA, San Francisco, Washington, DC, and right here in Virginia Beach. There is no reason. Yeah, that's awesome. That's incredible, those stats. Well, let's now talk about military defense. Israel has the Iron Dome, of course, that's been tremendously successful. Tell us about the Iron Dome and any other uh, military in innovations. So the Iron Dome was the first time in human history back in 2012 that a projectile was shot out of the sky. It has a 90% success rate. And as a result of this innovation, I would say millions of lives on both sides of the border, both Israelis, 
Palestinians, Lebanese, and Syrians are saved. Because when you have a defensive weapon that shoots these projectiles out of the sky, you're by, by definition saving lives. And the military has produced a whole host of other medical devices that are really saving lives around the world. There's a wonderful company out of Israel called Alpha Omega. It's a Christian Arab company based in Nazareth that is producing the technology to pulse the brain for those who have Parkinson's, a central tremor, or Tourette's. And that technology is used in hospitals in the United States and around the world. The technology coming from Israel today is simply incredible. It is the prophetic tradition driving the desire to make the world a better place. Well, God has definitely blessed his chosen people, the Israeli people, and he's working through you guys to bless the world. And you've written a book about all of this, Thou Shalt Innovate, How Israeli Ingenuity Repairs the World. I would say that the Israeli people, God is definitely using them to repair the world. Thank you so much for your time, Avi Yorish, author. Thank you, thank you again. Thanks for having me.